drum. So right now I'm actually at a place to where I haven't been. I haven't been to this place in a very, very long time. Not this one in specific. Uh, where I'm at is a church. And I haven't been to a church in, I couldn't even tell you how long. I know it's been like years, like till I actually like really went to church. I say like consistently, it's been, it's been a minute, man. I ain't gonna lie. So we had a church today. So I just wanted to uh, let uh, pick up the camera while I'm here a little bit, talk to y'all for a little bit. But yeah, I have a, uh, a interesting viewpoint when it comes to church. I don't, like I said, I'm still reading the Bible, so I don't know. But one thing I do know is I've always gotten the word from other people and never read it myself. So I thought about everything about Christianity and everything like that. And I'm like, how much is actually in the Bible compared to just tradition? So, so far as I've been reading in the Bible, I haven't seen anything that said that we have to go to church. I could be wrong. Don't get me wrong. But for now, right now, it just seems like it's a tradition thing to all like have communion and be at a whole church. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. But I am here today because even if it's not in the Bible, it is a good thing to have like-minded individuals around you and networking opportunities, things like that. And at a bare minimum, you get to spend time with God. So it ain't, it's not a bad thing, but I don't really think it's mandatory. But I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, we came a little earlier. So that's why I just wanted to uh, talk to y'all for a little bit. I'll catch y'all after the service. The Holy God, he is God you, we come to exalt you, we come to magnify your holy name. Think about his mercy and let it hear you magnify him. Yo, what's good y'all? So, right now we're just in the bathroom, but I just wanted to give a little pause. I had to leave real quick because I felt a little nostalgia, you know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't been in a church in a minute, so it's like, it's cool to really be in this type of environment. I'm enjoying it, man. I ain't even gonna count. So powerful. She she was physically blind, but she said that you can can and I'm paraphrasing what it says in the CEB version. It says, Then the Lord answered me and said, Write a vision and make it plain upon a tablet so that a runner can read it. The Bible says, write the vision and make it plain so that the runner can read it. Why? Because vision gives direction to the runner. That's real church. Those you're singing, you're playing, you're playing. It should be for souls. This is what this thing is all about. We can't get some brand new that we forget what it's all about. I don't mind the drill. I don't mind the fancy runs. But this thing is about souls. Do I have any blessed people in the room today? How many know you're already blessed? How many know you're already well? And all your years are paid up for the rest of the year. I just retired. And he said, you did? She said, yeah, I just retired. I'm 80 years old. What you about to do at 80? Ain't nothing wrong with being with 80. But that ain't God's plan. Make me bring my word for me. Mark 8. You did say you'd be my alma bear. <laughs> Bless you, daughter. <laughs> oh, that's my dog. Y'all play with it. We don't, we, we, we do this thing behind us and we live with it. I go cap. I forgot to close out the vlog yesterday, man. So we went to church yesterday. And uh right now, as y'all can see, your boy shirtless. I'm out here getting that good, you know what I'm saying? Vitamin D. Gotta get that every single day, you feel me? We always inside the house all the times with all our blue lights and our, you know what I'm saying, the electronics and stuff like that. But we never take some time to get the the real light, the daylight, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm just doing right here. For the message of the, the, the service yesterday, it actually did resonate with me a lot. I'm gonna be honest. Like, um, 
the message was to have to have a vision pretty much have a vision for what you want to do and a purpose in your life and follow that no matter what and you you get the vision you already have it so you don't need to find it you know what i'm saying you already have it and when you get more connected with god he shows you what it is and what you're supposed to do when you're here on this earth you know what i'm saying pretty much your purpose your vision but some people they just go throughout their whole lives having no vision and they just unfortunately they just like <laughs> npcs bro <laughs> that junk is crazy but it is what it is you know what i'm saying but when you get more connected with god when you pray when you meditate read his word all of that it makes he shows you what the vision is that's already in you it's in you already he just brings it out of you so you can really see and so you can really go on about your life and that was the main thing uh, for the whole service and i'm really glad i went um now i would say this right now in my current state of mind you know i'm always a changing and growing person so this might not stick for the longest but for right now i'm not going to go to church every sunday i i'm not saying church is bad but i do until i read it in the bible for myself or somebody show me scripture that proves this fact but i really don't think it's you're gonna like you're gonna go to hell if you don't go to church every sunday you know what i'm saying i'm not saying church is bad church is really good it's fellowship around like-minded individuals all of that but i don't think it's something that you have to do every sunday or you're going to hell you know what i'm saying i could be wrong maybe please, god please correct me if i'm wrong and show me the bible scripture that proves that i have to go to the sunday every uh church every sunday but until then i'm not going bro <laughs> I'm going to be honest, and it's like, uh, I'm going to go when I feel like I need to go or whenever he tells me I need to go or I just, you know, just I'm not going to make it a, a tradition because that's one thing with me. God is more than just religion and tradition, you know, and I tend to see I tend to see when it comes to God that people get a whole lot of their word from other people. They never read it for themselves. And I, and I was one of them, to be honest. That's why I made this whole Bible routine and all that, because I'm like, bro, I real deal are just trusting what these people say. Like, they can give me a verse, but I still didn't read it in the Bible for myself. Like, it could be a whole cap. And I'm not saying it's like trust issues or anything like that, but it's just like, I realized that with a lot of people, they always get the word from other people. And we need to pick up the Bible for ourselves, man. So... For whoever this need to come across, man, pick up the Bible for yourself, bro. I'm not saying it's not a, it's a bad thing to listen to your pastor. It's good. Still listen to your pastor, preacher or whatever. But you need to pick up the Bible for yourself, bro. You need to read it for yourself and do baby steps with it. I already got a whole video in my last video about overthinking. It pretty much talk about, you know, baby steps, man, to everything. It really helps you. No cap. Baby steps, bro. But yeah, I don't want to talk your head off because I know me, man. I, I could talk for hours. You feel me? But. I respect my time and I definitely respect yours. So peace to everybody who made it to the end of this video. Stay seasoned, man.